up, guys? I'm Alex Mag, part of the Call to Action crew, and I have some pretty baller people up here with me today reacting to this pretty cool trailer that I've been pretty anxious to see more of. Paul, Jarvie, what's up, boys? Not much. What's happening? Uh, glad to be here. I've been excited about this movie since I knew that Kenneth Branagh was directing it, so i like a big fan of Kenneth Branagh. I never read the books myself, but I've always wanted to, so maybe I'll go movies first, then the books. And yeah, I'm, I'm going uh, in pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. I'm going in pretty fresh with this. I, I don't know anything about Artemis Fowl. What's up, people? I haven't been here for a while. It's great to be back. But yeah, I'm super excited. I just found out that Kenneth Branagh is directing this. So mm -hmm. I'm like way more hyped now. So I'm ready to do this. Boom. Absolutely. Well, kind of going before we kind of go into it, just to let you know just a little bit about what to expect. So the story of Artemis Fell is a really, it's a really fun uh, fantasy, children's fantasy series. The books were actually started being published, I think around 2000, 2001, around there. And it's about a criminal mastermind child. He's like 11 or 12, Artemis Fowl II. And he's brilliant. <laughs> um, but also he's actually part of this like legacy family, this very we wealthy we legacy family that's also very much incorporated into the world of magic and and fairies and sorry, my cat might be a little <laughs> throughout this. <laughs> oh, the course, um, surprise, action cat. Um, but, you know, he's in the process of trying to get what he can. He's trying to find his dad played by Colin Farrell in this movie. So that's his purpose. So he kidnaps, essentially, he kidnaps a, like a fairy in order to get what he needs in order to find his dad, essentially. Now, that being said, this is ideally supposed to be the first movie to a potential franchise for young adults. You know, we haven't, uh, in a hot minute, we really haven't had any young adult fantasy movies that's like this. That's a good you yeah, do you, can you guys like name tomorrow? Like, we had Maze Runner for a little bit, which I feel like it's more towards uh, like teens. Yeah. We had uh, uh, Hunger Games. Big. I think Hunger they tried Big. it with uh, Tomorrow, Tomorrow Land. No, Tomorrow, what was it called? Tomorrowland. Tomorrow Tomorrow Land. Land. I think they different. tried with that. It seems very familiar to this one. Is that Maze Runner? I think that was more sci fi, technically. Tomorrowland was more sci fi ish. It was, oh. a, yeah, but they were flying a tub. It feels like fantasy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's the right. <laughs> I don't think you're the right movie. Same movie. That's the same movie. Tomorrow then the Brad Bird one with Yeah, uh, that's the one. That's the one. That's George one? Clooney? Weren't they flying a huts out there? Oh, they had to find something. Oh, it was something going on. I forget exactly. I love the movie, but I can't remember that <laughs> sequence myself. But well, uh, regardless, as you can see, we're having a hard time trying to come up with young adult fantasy movies. Maze movie. Runner was the last one, I think. Mm -hmm. I think there was Aragon, I think. Uh, the Narnia movies, which the ones is that really failed. Riddled. The ones that fail was that uh, the Divergent. One. Divergent, they yes. Finish it. They couldn't even finish it because it wouldn't. Yeah, it was rough. They tried doing it to a TV show, and then all the actors were like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> they pulled the Drew Andrew no. Guy. Well, that, <laughs> they wanted to do a TV movie. I think that yeah, was the, thing. It was the final yes, TV movie. Just because they, it kind of left at a weird point. Yeah. Okay, now, just kind of going into this, now you know just a wee bit of the plot. Um, I am kind of curious about it, knowing that it's directed by Kent Brunel. A lot of stuff. I know, Paul, you are a huge fan of Kenneth Branagh movies, I right? I do. I like him as a director and an actor. He's, he does Shakespeare. He does fantasy. He does everything. I think he's, he's probably a perfect kind of director for this type of movie. So I've been mean, really excited to see Yeah, him. He, tra he travels around a lot of the different genres of the movies. So yeah, yeah. he's good. He's good. Yeah. He's a world traveler. That's really <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Say I am personally very skeptical of choice of director. <laughs> I okay. I like him as an actor. I think he's great. I'm not a huge fan of him as a director, <laughs> but I would love for him to prove me wrong. I want this to be amazing. I'm hoping we get more uh, movies like this in the future. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get reacting. All right, let's get this up, and I will hit the. Video. Ooh, that's a good long trailer. Two minutes and twenty seconds. Okay, oh, not too bad. And the first here one actually go. wasn't like that much. I think. Yeah. I think the first one was more of a teaser. This was actually titled mm. official trailer mm. instead of like official trailer two or things. So the first one was probably just a teaser. So, all right, here we go. We want to know everything about the man you work for. The man. Oh, oh no. Oh, <gasps> Josh Gass. This isn't about the father. That's Josh Gass. This is about wow. the son, mm. Artemis Fowl. You've grown strong, son. And smarter mm. than I ever imagined. Then take me with you. To 
all I have now, Artie. Artie? There's just one very important thing I have to do. Authorities launched a worldwide manhunt for the famous collector. He is suspected to have been behind some of the biggest robberies ever. Dad. Hello? Your family has taken something of great value from us. Return it to me or I will destroy everything you love. You weren't supposed to see this yet. I mean, it's a Batman vibe. Yeah. Complicated like the young Batman vibe. He is, he is protected Batman and Harry Potter that have kept together. Okay, more like Robin. From the Maybe dangers Robin of another yeah. world. It's time to face your destiny. Mixed with men of blacks? Are you not alone in this? Is that Hagrid? Is a talented giant hmm. dwarf. And I'm Holly Short, your ally on the other side. It's real. All right. Save my father. Save the world. Can I see her? Tell him we are dead. Looks like scared, her. Artemis? I'm first scared to dead. An army oh, is coming. Dan. Ooh, Judy Dan. This has some delirium vibes. Can't go wrong with Judy Dan. You think you can beat us? We'll see. Is that Dobby's Here, father? I'm sorry, but is Josh that evil? I'm the next criminal mastermind. Yeah. yeah. Now look around. This is what they call greatness. I didn't read much on trolls. Anything else to look back for? The teeth. Okay, definitely not. Hey, people. Mm. Good to know. Mm. Don't be too. Oh, this nice. was sweet. Wow. That was way better than I expected. Yeah. Very, very slick. Very slick look looking. It I am pretty curious. Um again, it's definitely not how I visualized it reading the books, but again, I, I feel like it's I'm getting much more I expected more Harry Potter, but I got a lot more men in black vibes, like young yeah, men in black training kind of situation. Little Kingsman, that's another good yeah. the Kingsman, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely got a lot of those vibes, which I'm pretty psyched about. It doesn't look like Gab is playing Hagrid there. It looks like that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you know and there was a Dobby in there. I love me some Hagrid. <laughs> there that was, was a of everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you guys, would you guys pay money to see the movie based off this trailer? Yeah, I think I would. Absolutely. I mean, I love the genre I mean, anyway, so I've always wanted to give it, a, I've always wanted to give that kind of stuff a shot. So it just mm -hmm. definitely didn't turn me away. It definitely seemed exciting. So. Mm hmm. I am really uh, kind of curious as well to see it's more of the action sequences. Yeah. You true. know, I know Brenna, uh, he's, a lot of his movies aren't really focused on the action. It's very focused on other things. Um, well, it's like, as far as like, when it comes to directing. So I am kind of curious of how that's going to play out. I would hate for a movie like this that's so adventure driven and fantasy driven to really kind of fall by the wayside in terms of a lot of its action sequences, since I feel like that's one of my favorite parts when it comes to movies like this. So... It seemed, pretty, it, for sure. it seemed pretty. Oh, action, it seemed pretty action, though. It seemed pretty action. Everything beautiful. Vibrant. But he did. He did Thor as well, and he did well. Did Jack Thor. Ryan wasn't a great movie, but there was a lot of action in it. So I think I, he can direct I, action I, pretty well. Well, I don't like Thor very much, and I don't feel like the action sequences were all that hot. But that's another conversation. <laughs> You're not alone. I, no, I, I actually, perfect. I, I feel I like, like it's it. fine, but it's definitely <laughs> it's, it's on my. It's um. Thor, am I as far if I were ranking all the MC movies, it would be the bottom five. Wow. A lot of people are actually like that. There's a lot of people who are like that. I am more on Jarvis side. I do like yeah. Thor a lot more than other people do. Um, mm -hmm. I, so, what to say? What to say? Please I'd surprise us. Please surprise me, Kenneth Brenna. I would love for you to. <laughs> all right. But any final thoughts before we kind of wrap things up? I think we're good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it now. So, I'm excited. Cool. Same here. I'm like, I'm like pretty, pretty hyped for this now. This trailer Ooh. did it for me. Yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. So uh, Artemis Fell, obviously not just for kids. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us and checking out uh, this uh, call to reaction. And I'm Alex Mack, part of the call to action crew. And you can catch us uh, on Twitter, on Facebook. I personally run the call to action Twitter page. So definitely check us out there. Paul, where can we find you? PLD, you can find me at, at Paul underscore Denuzio, and you can find me on the Team Action Patreon. That's where I help them. Uh, and you can find me tonight on Chilled Action as we welcome on John Roca. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jarvie? Man about town. <laughs> Richard Eric with a K Jarvie on Instagram and Facebook. And go check out Class Action on Action Industries. 
It's right today. Whoop, whoop. Right today. So whole bunch of stuff coming to you. All right. Well, thank you again for hanging out. We'll see you soon and have yourself a very classy.